Well, today happens to be National Oyster Day, and Pearl's Deep Dive in Royal Oak is getting everyone ready to serve up all sorts of tasty dishes. Dan Freeman is joining us now. He's the operating partner of the restaurant. So, Dan, thanks so much for being with us, first of all. Appreciate you having me. Thanks for getting me on. Of course, and happy National Oyster Day to you. I assume this is a big holiday over there at Pearl's Deep Dive. Besides maybe New Year's and Christmas, yes, this is a big one for us. So yeah. Lots of oysters going on today. So I, I see you've got a huge spread there for us. What oyster options are available there? What do you anticipate being your biggest sellers on a day like today? Well, a day like today, you really get to see the difference between East Coast and West Coast, the old battle of which oyster is better. Um, East Coast oysters are a little bit more uh, salty, briny, or they're a little more narrow, whereas the West Coast, just like this here, are going to be a little bit bigger, plumper, have a little bit more sweetness to them. So to each their own, but they both are great for me. I am curious, for someone who has not eaten oysters before, would you recommend for a newbie to start with an East or West Coast? Is there a taste that's maybe easier for someone who isn't as familiar? I would normally tell you to try a West Coast oyster first. It's going to be a little sweeter. Uh, you know, it's it's got a meaty, but it's not chewy. Um, and then depending if you like a little spice, you can do a little Tabasco or uh, horseradish, something like that. And, you know, Metro Detroit, it's not the destination for oysters. It's not a place you think of to get oysters. But I know you guys have such a great menu. I've been there. You guys do such a great job. What do people need to know about oysters who have not eaten them before? Well, the biggest thing is don't be afraid. <laughs> I mean, they're actually really good. We do them a lot of different ways. Sometimes we have uh, fried oysters, Cajun oysters. So depending on your palate, we can really customize that. Um, but here, I mean, we have everything from lobster rolls and dumplings to just plain old West Coast, sort of right out of the shell oysters. So. And, you know, I love that you said don't be afraid because I think sometimes for a raw shucked oyster, the texture sometimes can scare people off. But as you mentioned, you can cook them in so many ways. If maybe that's not your style, you can do a cooked oyster. You can do a fried oyster. Absolutely. I mean, there's no right or wrong way for anybody. Um, the biggest thing I tell newbies is take it off the shell, maybe put it on a saltine cracker so you can really taste the meat of the oyster instead of looking at the shell and being scared off by what that looks like sometimes. But uh, if you like a little spicier, the Cajuns are great. Uh, and that, that pretty much uh, will cover the palate of everybody. And I see you've got some delicious looking cocktails uh, there as well. What would you recommend in terms of drinks to pair with an oyster? So for me, I like a classic dirty martini uh, with a little bit of a blue cheese uh, olive in it. You can't uh, go wrong it, there. It, no, you really can't. I mean, everything kind of pairs pretty well if you want like a good white wine with it. Um, with our cocktails, uh, we're going to be launching our martini nights coming next week on Wednesdays. Um, so we have kind of our uh, chocolate. Uh, this is the white chocolate cherry martini, um, dirty martini with the blue cheese olive that I mentioned. And then some of our standbys like our bubbling berries and that type. All sounding delicious. Dan, before we let you go, where can our viewers go for more information on Pearls? Well, you can go to MerkleRestaurants.com or PearlsDeepDive.com. Find us on Instagram. That's always the one where you can see all the pictures and how beautiful this space is. We only got a little area here to look at, but it's really eye-catching when you come in. And the photos, of course, are key. You got, you got to do it for the gram, right? You really do. It's it, This is IG heaven here. I mean, you got every spot, and not to mention we have Pinkies right in the same building upstairs, which is an Instagram favorite. Brunches have been going great there. So definitely come on out and see us 100 South Main and Royal Oak. No better place to celebrate National Oyster Day. Dan Freeman with Pearl's Deep Dive. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.